a look at um, texture now um, and understanding how it works. Um, what do we talk about uh, when we talk about texture um, and that kind of stuff. So there are generally five main words when we talk about texture. We're going to go through those today. Um, and so then it will help you with your analysis or a better understanding of uh, what words we use when we talk about texture. So the first uh, two words that we're going to use is thinking about thick and thin texture. So thick and thin texture also applies um, to dynamics um, and actually is uh, what we could call terrace dynamics. <coughs> Excuse me. So terrace dynamics um, were created um, in the Baroque period, so in 1650 to 1700. Um, and basically, um, because instruments at the time were not very good at playing dynamics, they generally were just playing um, at one kind of uh, volume. Um, that someone thought, actually, if I add more players um, playing a part, then it would be louder. Um, and if I only have one or two, it would be softer. Um, so that applies to also thick and thin texture. So thick texture is when you have many people playing the same part. Um, or you have thin textures when you have um, less people um, playing or singing the same part. So just like the diagram shows you, um, that's thick and thin texture. Uh, then we have words called monophonic. So monophonic um, is basically um, just one melodic line. So if, for example, it was just a melody, someone singing by themselves, it's what we call monophonic. We then what we have is homophonic, where it's two contrasting parts. So it is generally the melody versus the accompaniment or chords, um, and that's what we call homophonic. So it's not someone singing melody in harmony, um, but it's someone singing melody and accompaniment or chords. We then have polyphonic. Now polyphonic is categorized in two different ways. One way is where there is melody, there is harmony, which is an independent line, and then a complement. So it's three contrasting parts. That's what we call polyphonic. There is also melody and an independent line, which we call harmony. Um, more so an independent line um, is what we call polyphonic as well. So there's basically two parts that are completely, that have no that really are different and contrasting from each other. That is not an accompaniment. So two-part polyphonic, or polyphony, as they say, is two contrasting melodic lines. Okay? Um, so there are things that you may want to talk about when we're talking about texture um, in terms of analysis. So you will talk about, for example, multistructural. What are the textures used? There is homophonic, there is monophonic, there is polyphonic, it is thick homophonic, there is thin polyphonic. Um, then relational is where are the different textures in the music? So you're talking about where they are and what you see or what you hear and what instruments play which texture so you might say the violin is playing one melodic line and the viola is playing the contrasting uh, independent line which makes it polyphonic now extended abstract is how the different textures used in the piece or some questions I should say how does it fit the style of the music and what characteristics do the textures have in the piece so you could be um, demonstrating a thorough understanding you could incorporate other elements and features in your answer to get an extended abstract thinking so for example you could say there is a thick texture in this piece of music a thick monophonic texture which actually makes the piece sound louder as well so good luck um, and we'll see you on the other side ma te wa